In between the celebration of the sixth and seventh Sundays of Easter, we celebrate the ascension of our Lord. And it's always on a Thursday because Jesus ascended into heaven 40 days after the resurrection. And since the resurrection was on a Sunday, you do the math, and that means the ascension is always celebrated on a Thursday. But that's not that important. What's important is what Luke tells us about the ascension in Acts chapter 1. He said that Jesus presented himself alive to his disciples after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. So you would think that after all this time, that the apostles would have a really good understanding of what Jesus' ministry was all about. After all, they had been with him throughout his entire ministry. He had been teaching them 40 days after his resurrection, but they still didn't get it. They were still really confused. Just before his ascension, these apostles asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? I mean, they were really hoping that Jesus was going to fix this political situation that Israel was in. They, he was hoping he was going to do something about these about these Romans. I mean, they were really just concerned about earthly things, but Jesus had something greater in mind. Now, truthfully, we, we can't blame the apostles. They, they were thinking about earthly things just the same way that we think about earthly things. They're their concern, though we might not be able to relate to that particular concern, we do relate to uh, the same sorts of concerns of, of life in this world and the difficulties that we go through. So, for example, we might ask questions like, Lord, will you at this time give me a good grade on the math test because I really bombed the last one? Or, Lord, will you at this time bring the right guy or the right girl into my life because I'm just tired of being alone? Or, Lord, will you at this time help me to overcome my anxiety because it really is turning into a huge burden for me in my life? Or, Lord, will you at this time ease the tension within my home because I feel like I've really been arguing with my parents a lot lately and I'm, I'm not sure how much longer these things can go on. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that God doesn't care about these things or that we shouldn't pray for them. Because he does care about these things, and we should continue to bring these things to him in prayer. But what I am saying is this, that Jesus' ascension helps us to understand and see that his mission is about more, much more, than, than the things of this life. His ascension is about establishing an eternal kingdom for you, a life without all of those frustrations and hardships. Jesus did not ascend into heaven to withdraw from his church. That would be you. In fact, it's just the opposite. He ascended into heaven and sits at God's right hand to extend his blessing to you and to be with you wherever you go in this life and, and in whatever difficult situation you might face. He ascended into heaven to pour out the Holy Spirit upon you who brings you the gifts and blessings of his sacrifice to you. So in the same way that Christ went into heaven, we look for his return. Because on that day, all of those pressures and anxieties of this life, all of the struggles that we face because of this world of sin will be brought to an end. That abundant life that Christ has promised to you and that you've hoped for in faith will be fully realized and given. So until that time, God comforts you in this life. He comforts you with the hope of new life in him. It's yours. I mean, you have it now. You just don't fully realize it yet because it's not what we see and experience every day. But once we experience that new life in Christ, once we experience everlasting life in his kingdom, we will know the immeasurable greatness of God's power and love for us in Jesus Christ. Through his shed blood, man can ascend to dwell with God again. And through his blood, you will ascend to dwell with God forever.